Oh. Too red. So Seth Godin talked about <laughs> friction and tension today. <laughs> Compared to my leadership image that I was thinking about, it always connects somehow. It always seems to connect. So this image is from The Art of Possibility, quickly mentioned. Talks about how mistakes are like ice. The very act of sliding through a mistake, taking action. Uh, if you resist too hard, you make more mistakes. So I sort of think about stress when I think about this. But it is the very act of friction, like when you ski or when you ice skate or when you snowboard that makes progress in forward motion, you're able to adjust. It makes it possible. At least I think it's from The Art of Possibility. It's probably in here somewhere. Seth Godin was talking about friction in terms of marketing and how when we engage with people that we want to help, sometimes we want friction, sometimes we want traction to have influence and to make the experience longer instead of merely slipping our way to helping somebody else succeed at something. <laughs> I found it. Mistakes are like ice. Resisting them uh, equals defeat. Including them and gliding through them enables us to go through failure and learn from them. So maybe the focus here is a really interesting discussion on when we should pick and choose our battles, when we should enable ourselves to experience more friction so we can gain traction. Where do we choose that? When do we choose that? A lot of factors go into that. I was wondering if you could think of any examples where you've experienced something where you've gained traction on purpose because of an enacting and causing friction and maybe when you glided through something and you wanted friction but didn't get it talking about failure and successes here that is the image for today keep being you dftba and i'll see you tomorrow everybody palka good night